going on everybody this is the solar sauna from I believe the mid 60s it is made by AM Finn sauna company um, basically a quick little rundown on it is that it uh, heats a bed of rocks and traps it overnight so this is basically a concept I will also say that $1,500 adjusted for inflation is probably more like oh I don't know 5,000 at least make the solar variety anymore However, they do have a really awesome uh, clientele base and they make some really cool saunas. It's just, I guess they just uh, found their niche and it didn't happen to be solar. So I did find one other solar sauna that's really a true solar sauna. And I will leave the link to the website below and in the description. And I will try and link the video to YouTube here. Uh, you should be able to see a pop up. And what they've done is they've taken a heliostat and focused those individual mirrors onto a hanging thing of lava rocks. And so those lava rocks are actually uh, what they can throw the water onto to make the steam. And also it kind of helps the uh, solar energy transmit into the structure itself. Now, this is a really cool idea. However, I have my own idea and that is Panasonic of all people make a vacuum insulated panel a VIP and this panel is essentially insulation and it gets R60 per inch which is like light years ahead of where uh, traditional insulation are so it's a basically like a super heat trap or it can also keep cold in so if you're in you know the hot Arizona desert you could set up this paneled structure and be able to keep it cool now my idea is to take these vacuum insulated panels put them encase them in cedar which shouldn't be too hard to do just get some cedar fencing and then make kind of like a so you could then take it in your truck go to a remote location, do some winter camping, set up your little solar sauna, and, uh, you know, I've, I've got a couple ideas for maybe making a heliostat cooker. Uh, the advantages with a heliostat cooker and or just, you know, focusing that heliostat onto a certain point is that um, you can work with some really funky angles and still be able to get the same sort of surface area that you'd get with a parabolic. So it's really just all about surface area and sunlight and concentration of that sunlight. So anyways, I hope you appreciate this video and uh, if someone else beats me to this uh, super insulated solar sauna, then more power to you. I just kind of thought it was a cool concept and, you know, the ability to to stay really warm in a remote location uh, is, a, is a pretty big game changer. If you have some remote land and you're just constantly cold, uh, you could really, you know, help yourself out by being able to warm up and, you know, strip down <laughs> and, uh, you know, catch some sun. So, alright, appreciate uh, you guys watching the video. Talk to you later.